This video has different parts. 1. Basic gyro guide. 2. Finding the best sensitivity. 3. Why you should set your ADS to 1%. 4. Tips to get better with gyro. First of all, you need to turn on gyroscope always on. Set your gyroscope sensitivity to 300% for all the scopes, except sniper. How does gyroscope works? Once you turn your gyroscope always on. When you move your phone, for example, if you tilt left and right, or up and down, you will see your aim will also move. This is how the gyroscope works, it moves your aim in the direction you move. Here, I am tilting my device left and right, your aim should move immediately without any delay. When you scope in, you can aim with gyroscope. Moving your device left or right will change your target. It's like using a mouse or joystick. How to control recoil with gyroscope. This is AKM recoil, this is how it looks. AKM is one of the highest recoil gun. To control recoil with gyroscope, you need to slowly tilt your phone downwards and backward too. Here you can see how I control recoil in handcam, I slowly tilt my device downwards and backside. This is how it looks on the front side of handcam, your hand should go backwards and downwards. Here is another angle of handcam, pushing your device backside and downwards slowly and adjusting according to the target. Once you learn how to control recoil, the next step is aim transfer between two targets or more. You should change your target while shooting. This helps you to kill multiple enemies at the same time. You can also practice three targets in a single spray. This helps you to get better at aiming and estimating the distance you need to tilt your hand. Controlling recoil of 4x is harder when compared to the red dot. While shooting with M4 and 4x, you need to push your device backwards and downwards a lot faster than a red dot. And don't forget to adjust your aim with gyro. Crouching and shooting will help you to reduce the recoil by 10%, I think. Here, I am shooting at 200 meters target while crouching. And now I am standing still and shooting at the same 200 meters targets, you can notice the difference only a little bit I guess. But, what if you prone while shooting? Then the recoil will a lot easier to control, the recoil is reduced by 50%, and now it looks like zero recoil. This is very helpful at long distance fights. To find your best gyroscope sensitivity, all you need to do is set your gyro sensitivity to 300 for all, later we can adjust according to each scope. Now, take a red dot scope and test it on 50 to 100 meters target. If you can able to control recoil easily, without any problems like too much shaking, you just need to decrease gyro sensitivity a little bit. Now, I am testing my recoil with 2x scope, remember to shoot at different targets. Not just one, and if you can control the recoil with 2x scope with 300 gyro sensitivity, change it to next scope. With 3x scope, I can easily control recoil in 50 to 100 meters range. And now control recoil in range of 100 to 200 meters. Controlling recoil to 300 meters is a little bit harder, but if you practice you will get better. Controlling recoil of 4x is tough, so I always recommend using high sensitivity for gyro, use 300 for spraying, and tapping 200 sensitivity. I don't tap mostly. 4x is harder to control recoil in the range of 200 to 300 meters, so I suggest you practice more often, even my 4x spray is not perfect. If you have low sensitivity, then it's going to be harder for you to control recoil at long distances. Here I changed my gyro sensitivity to 200, you can see the difference. Most people can control recoil with 200 sensitivity, but you need to tilt down your device a lot faster. My recoil is not perfect, but I got used to 300 sensitivity, I used to use 200 sensitivity like 1 minute ago. But now I think I might switch to 300, because it's easier to control. I don't suggest you to use 300 sensitivity because it shakes a lot, and most people do not use 4x. 
this is what's gonna happen if you didn't set your ADS to 1%. It happens mostly because of peeking left and right, jiggling. Your aim will get messed up because your thumb accidentally touches the screen instead of peak button. Now, if you set your ADS sensitivity to 1% for all the scopes, except first person and third person. You will be not getting the accidental touch issues, and now you're full gyroscope player. Full gyroscope means you do not depend on ADS sensitivity, this might solve most of the touch issues. And now you can flex with peeking left and right. I guess most people call this as jiggle jiggle reflexes. LOL. Now you can do this peeking left and right without any problems. How to aim with the help of gyro. And how it works. You know you can tilt your device left and right to change your aim, if you do it faster while scoping in, it will become a quick scope or fast aim reflex. So first you need to scope in and adjust your aim towards the target. Now do it faster. Do not worry it took me 3 weeks to learn this. So it might take you some time to learn this perfectly. You can even improve your aim and accuracy by 69% by practicing this. This helps you to get better at aiming immediately. I try my best to take my aim towards the target before scoping into the target. So it makes it easier to aim at targets. Just like mouse or joystick, for mobile phones it's gyroscope. Remember to practice daily to get better. Practice daily 10 minutes in training ground. You'll definitely see the improvement. Here I am warming up with my aim, I always shoot at the different target to have better accuracy. And you can see my training warm up here, I used to do this long time ago, to improve my aim. This gyro drill helps me to get better. At quick scoping. There are many ways you can learn gyroscope always find your own way to get better.